All right, guys, I'm going surf fishing tomorrow, and um, I'm going to be using a rooster tail to catch these surf perch. And I got several here, um, actually a lot here. And I did a rooster tail surf fishing in the previous video, um, probably about a year ago, and I maybe a year and a half, and I did pretty good. How I set that up was just to um, put the rooster tail right on the dropper loop on the leader, and that seemed to work pretty well. So um, this time I'm not going to do that though. I'm just going to tie it normally to the, uh, you know, to the end of the line, and then just put some weight on it because these rooster tails are kind of light, and um, I need to have some extra weight on there so I can make a little bit further cast. In the previous video, I was using um, rooster tails that were kind of small, um, probably around this size. So today I'm going to use a little bit bigger ones and hopefully I can catch a bigger fish. And this is the one I'm going to use right here. This is a little bit bigger. This is a 3 8 ounce and this uh, red one is a half ounce. And I'm going to use this one because that green color right there, it kind of resembles the, uh, the color of the sand crabs that are found on the beach. And if this one doesn't work um, well, I'm going to be switching to this one. This, it's got a little bit more... Uh, um, flash on it. So here is my setup right here. Um, I got my weight and a, a sliding egg sinker and I got the swivel and um, the leader and then the rooster tail. Um, I set it up this way um, because I want to mimic the scenario where um, that fish is chasing some bait over here. Okay. Um, of course you can hook the swivel straight to the rooster tail itself and um, that way the weight can slide all the way down there. It's up to you. Um, I just prefer it this way because it's gonna catch more fish. At least in the past, this setup has really helped me catch more fish. Oh, fish on! First cast, yeah! First cast, buddy! Yeah! On the rooster tail! There we go! Oh my lord! That's a good one! That's a good one right there! There we go, guys! Very first cast, right as it landed, he took it on that rooster tail. There it is right there. All right, let's get another one. The color of the rooster tail is a fire tiger, and I'll add a link to the video description if you want to buy one. When you're targeting these fish, most of the time, they're actually pretty close to shore. They're in that white foam feeding on the sand crabs or other food that are in that surf. Fish on, there we go. Did you see that guy? Wow. Oh, he was jumping. There's a seal over there that's trying to get my fish. Oh, what is that? There's a seal over there. Oh, man. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Don't come off, buddy. Don't come off. Oh, he's stepping drag. Oh, he's a good one. He's a good one. Oh, that's a salmon. That's a salmon, guys. Holy cow. That's a salmon. I did not expect this. Check that out, guys. My first salmon from the surf. See that? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna unhook them and release them right away. There we go. I gotta release him. There we go. Come on, buddy. All right, there he goes. I hope he makes it.
That was awesome, guys. My first salmon from the surf. He was, uh, he was hooked pretty good. He was bleeding kind of bad, but I can't keep him because, uh, first of all, in the ocean, you can only use a barbless hook. And I don't know what the salmon season is for the uh, ocean. I think it's closed right now. Um, so that was pretty awesome, man. So I can scratch salmon off my list on the surf. Pretty cool. Right with the rooster tail. The rod I'm using is 11 and a half foot rod Cabela's 20 trail. It's the old model, discontinued. It's a noodle rod, so it has a lot of load. It's very, very flimsy, so it allows me to cast a spinner far out there. Even though the fish are close, you still want to use a long rod so you can cast far and cover more water. fish on there we go there we go Woo! oh yeah oh my lord see that look how he's fighting guys look how he's fighting oh yeah is that another salmon maybe <laughs> no I think it's a perch I think that's a perch yep that's a perch that's a big perch big old perch there we go yeah fish number three number three guys on the rooster tail there we go there we go guys fish number three on the rooster tail got a red tail this time all right there we go gonna keep this dude The regulation says you have to keep the salmon in the water when releasing it. But standing in the ocean on the Oregon coast is pretty dangerous because of the big waves can pull you into the ocean. In this situation, just bring it to the beach, unhook it as soon as you can, and release it quickly. Oh, fish on. There we go. Holy cow. See that, guys? See how they're fighting? Holy snap. Hey, that could be a salmon. That could be another salmon. I bet you that could be another salmon. Let's see what he is. Oh, this is so awesome if that was a salmon. If that's a salmon, that would be very spectacular. Okay, there's a wave coming in. Yep, 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 right here, right here. Come on, baby, come on. Oh. That's a good, that's a salmon! That's another salmon, guys! That's another salmon, right there, see that? Holy cow! Oh yeah, right there, that awesome or what? That is so awesome! Holy cow! Right there, see that? See that salmon? There we go, guys, another salmon on a rooster tail! That, that's a, that's got a white mouth, that's a coho, so I gotta let her go, there we go, we gotta let her go, okay, there she goes, yes sir, sorry you guys didn't see that, but uh, I released it, that's seven number two guys, that's pretty awesome. I did not expect this one bit at all. So that's four fish, two salmon, and two red tail. Man, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's... Oh, fish on. Fish on, guys. There we go. There's another one. Oh, yeah. What is it this time? A red tail or a salmon? So far, two red tails and two salmon on the rooster tail. 
I think it's a red tail. Yeah, it's a red tail, I think. Just a red tail. Yep. Not bad. Not bad at all. There we go. It's a little guy, though. Okay, buddy. Boy, they take that. They take it deep. Yeah, he's not going to make it, I think. I'm going to have to keep him because uh, that's hooked pretty deep. Well, guys, I'm going to make this my last fish. There's a rain cloud coming in over there. And I feel a couple drops already. It's my last fish. Unfortunately, he's kind of small. But uh, he's kind of hooked back there behind the mouth. I don't know if, if he's going to survive if I uh, take him out. But anyways, my last fish. Hey, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Tight lines.